This is Macho John Madden from the little hamlet of El Diamante, Mexico, in Veracruz State. And I want to make some comments about what I've noticed from three years of travel and from six days of being in this little pueblo here. I spent 16 years in Asheville, which is a cool, hip, progressive mountain town loaded with artists and buskers and musicians and very cool people. And I thought that was as good as it possibly could get. Why would I ever want to leave? But when the COVID hit and when I went up into the mountains and started hanging out with the Appalachian people, the rednecks we thought of them, uh, I found that they knew a lot about life that we didn't know in Asheville. They'd move slower. They were more in touch with nature. They made better contact with each other. Ironically, in some ways, they were much better communicators. They would plant their feet, look you straight in the eye, and take their time and settle in. When I went back to Asheville and had lunch with a really good friend, she was watching her watch because she was planning on 45 minutes. They were a lot less judgmental. Yeah. A lot less judgmental. They knew I was progressive and Democrat and they were Trumpers. But as soon as they found out I wasn't judging them, they wouldn't judge me. Mostly they are awfully good at taking people exactly as they are. And then I went to New Orleans and found out there was a whole different way to be. It was way more fun. It was a party town in a way that Asheville wasn't. There was a lot of cityness in that town of Asheville and a lot of hard work, people working too hard, trying, trying to, to make it. Uh, New Orleans, I learned, it supported the part of me that loves to play in a way I never expected. Here in Mexico, people tend to move slower, to relax, to be a lot more relaxed, to laugh and play and dance more easily than in the U.S., I, I notice it again and again, it's just true, they're different. But they don't all experience it that way as different. There are people here in Mexico who experience only the hardness of life, and there is a lot of poverty, and people have to work really hard to pay their bills and stuff. But I've met a couple of people who just assume that's the way it is in Mexico, is that it's hard, it's unremittingly hard. Whereas there are other people here who are really having a good life and relaxing and having fun. Right here in this little hamlet, I've got friends at two different restaurants at different ends of the strip. One woman who I've come to know just recently, is a really great lady who says, it's just so hard in here in Mexico, we have to work so hard, I wanna to go to the US where maybe it'll, life would be easier. But in the other restaurant I'm at where I'm sitting right now, it's very different. They're, they're really having a good time even though they're not making much more money than she is. There's actually too many restaurants in one little strip, there's like 10 restaurants. Nobody can make a good, good buck here. Uh, my friend, my new friend at the other end of town works by herself and her tienda, her restaurant is right up against the road and right at a speed bump where the big trucks are grinding to a halt and then revving up their engines to take off. And her restaurant has uh, no windows in the back and she's cooking tamales. She's got hot stove going all day. So her restaurant doesn't have good air, is really hot and really noisy, and she's working alone. In this restaurant where I'm sitting right now, they work with their extended family. So they've always got family around, and they're always happy. Their little kids, the grandkids are running around. There's dog and cat and chickens in and out of the restaurant and big field right next to them. Uh... When it's slow, they're laughing and playing and just chatting. Uh, life is very good for them. They would not say that life in Mexico is super hard or that they would want to go to the U.S. ever, ever. 
I said to my friend, your recipe for tamales could make you a lot of money in the U.S. If you want to go to the U.S. for a while and make some money and come back here, I could support that. Don't, don't move to the U.S. What you don't know is that there are so many poor people in the U.S. TV doesn't make it look that way. But there are a lot more poor people in the U.S. And whereas in Mexico, everybody's Latino, so there's no race that's being oppressed by another race, pretty much. I mean, there's still a caste system of the Spanish and the indigenous still. But in the U.S., if you're brown or black, there's tremendous oppression and prejudice still. And there's all the guns in the U.S. And police are much more likely to arrest, traffic stop, arrest, and shoot a black person or a brown person than a white person. That's what, you, that's what you're not seeing when you look up there. The other thing is that my affluent friends, yeah, in many ways they have a very nice standard of living. They're not happy. No. They're way less happy than people in Mexico. They are running to keep up. They're working awfully hard. They have so many high standards for themselves. They have all the middle class judgments, how you're supposed to look and how you're supposed to act and how you're supposed to feel. They're so much less natural and real and emotional and alive than Mexican people. My friends who are only trapped in their own little world don't see that. My friends out of the mechanical compound, the mom had three little kids and they were in a very lovely setting. And she, for some reason, believed that the baby was vulnerable to sickness and that they'd all be better if they stayed inside all day, every day. And because of that, they were always flipping out. They were always under stress. She was always screaming at them. And she had no idea she was creating that, but she was, I, I saw it. Like, oh my God, we're, I take the dogs for walks and, and you, there's all these beautiful fields around here and you won't even let the kids come outdoors. We, we create our lives and then think that's what, just what life is. And it's not the case. I think I'm done. Big truck. Big truck. He's got his turn signal on. Is he going to turn in here? No. So here it's sometimes very noisy. <coughs> and sometimes very quiet. But if I said, oh, El Diamante is a noisy town, that would be very inaccurate. But it can be noisy. and we can change things. Shifting, shifting. If my friend who worked so alone had one partner working with her that she could tease and play with during the day, life would be quite different. All right.